there is no adult explanation of like mm. this is how it works it's just like suck it up it's, it's not done in this compassionate loving way of explaining and under. you know like talking to the child it's just like sorry these are this is how life is suck it up oh, and like I like i have come across this somewhere or the other that you know this assumption that children will not understand is totally false and if you talk to them in a proper language they understand and if mm-hmm. you explain to them that this is how things are they understand they may not they may be upset they may not like it mm-hmm. but they understand so yeah mm-hmm. like I, i definitely feel like there's so much about the programming you're given around all this because That's... at the same time like you know like, obviously like if you can rewrite the programming at this age there's no reason we can't do it in childhood because what we're doing at this age is just talking to the child and explaining how things are but that's that's such a good point and it's making me realize like so many of my i don't know like weird little hang ups that i have that i've had mm-hmm. to work through have actually been down to just um the confusion mm-hmm. that arose from the situation and not having any explanation at all just mm-hmm. like yeah just no like like for instance when we were moving abroad like from europe to australia <laughs> and i was 6 years old like i would just woke up one day like not woke up one day i was on a plane for 23 yeah. hours and then woke up in another country yeah. and i just don't remember any explanation and yeah. i think that generationally that is a thing that like mm-hmm. you know when our parents were children it was that they, they were of that era where it was like a child should be seen and not heard and yeah. there was just no real communication yeah. that was just the thing so it makes sense but yeah like a lot of yeah. it is not that the thing itself was um like yeah it was just it was just a lack of i had mm-hmm. no one you just didn't have somebody explaining the rules of the game so then you make up your own rules Yes, obviously exactly bullshit rules and exactly and oh that's yeah so like good. like this is exactly what i also feel is all about like healing or inner child integration in a super conscious way where it's not about all of this heavy stuff it's just like okay teach the child to live in reality mm-hmm. teach it the rules of reality just be straight with it because at an an essential or soul level it already knows it just needs to come into harmony it's like it's picked up some bullshit belief relate yes. that into alignment with what reality is that's really great oh that's so good yeah i hadn't really hate like given it the correct weighting before about like mm. yeah just just not basically not assuming that children are not going to understand you because but when you think about it that in itself is such a crazy idea because they do implicitly pick up so much they're so intuitive that from just like your body language alone they understand when you're telling them shit and probably that also is causing a lot of issues yeah. and i think it's so crucial it's so integral that they respond to reality but they don't respond to programming that bullshit so mm. in a sense it's like if you're just passing down cultural programming to them then they may rebel and then they may be like no i i will do what i want or whatever mm. like they can react in many ways but they will not accept it but when you speak truth to them that is actually the reality like the laws yeah. of reality it's like it's received very differently because also you're communicating it very differently you're not communicating it as an authoritarian or a disciplinarian you're communicating yeah. it in a way that this is how it is from a calm authority yeah i understand parents want to protect children but like so that that you know when it comes to like really difficult subjects uh, let's say like about death or or whatever like it must be really tough to figure out how mm-hmm. you're going to explain that to a child but they just the sense i get is they just want to know the rules of the reality mm-hmm. and obviously the other side the flip side to it is that they do take they tend to take things quite literally mm-hmm. so when somebody close to a child dies and you know parents will say oh they've gone to sleep mm-hmm. a child will then think mm-hmm. will then ask you like well oh i haven't seen so and so for a mm-hmm. while like it's not yeah they, they just want to know the rules and it mm-hmm. may be difficult to explain i had one person um I thought this was this was a good way of explaining death. Uh I don't know if it's like a full explanation but like if we're talking to a toddler here mm-hmm. you can only go so deep but um she had a toddler and their dog died and mm-hmm. so the toddler was asking what's happened and the parent explained his body doesn't work anymore. Mm-hmm. And the kid was like I get it. Mm-hmm. Like you know maybe you don't need to go fully into like yeah. every course, but like just saying listen this body is no longer mm-hmm. here it doesn't work it's we you know mm-hmm. it's not there. Yeah, like basically the machine stopped working the car stopped working and it's gone yeah. to the impound lot you know. <laughs> Like kids actually I think understand so much more than we give them exactly. credit mm-hmm. and probably a lot of the times that parents don't want to have those difficult conversations it's they they may think a lot of the times it's to protect a child but in reality mm-hmm. it's probably for them like to not have to go through that ordeal yeah exactly like I don't even think it is a difficult conversation you know making it difficult because of whatever connotation you're adding to it whatever associations you're putting on it but for the child it's just like okay like they may be grieved maybe whatever but that's mm-hmm. not difficult that's just like even to call it difficult is like already loading it and saying there is something wrong with talking about this yeah it's like why why do we just have this default assumption that these are difficult conversations <laughs> are they like let's question that assumption right away yeah because again like when you actually talk to children they obviously if it's, it's a topic they've never understood or heard before then they'll respond like oh like they're not going to yeah that's so that's such a good point actually or they'll yeah. respond with curiosity or they will be yeah. whatever or even if they respond emotionally whatever happens it's like it's difficult only if you don't know how to sit with emotion yeah the, the, the whole moment- pain yeah, thing yeah like the moment you know how to sit with someone there's mm-hmm. not difficulty it's painful but it's not difficult anymore 